Welcome in this beginner lesson where I want to show you how to insert and edit images inside of PowerPoint. You may already know this, but if no, please take a look. I have here three project files, which are photographs. Let me drag them inside of the presentation. And right now I have the entire slide covered with big images. First, what I want to do is to make them smaller. All right, like that, one, two, and three. Well, it appears they are still too big. Let's make them even smaller, something like that, and start working with pictures. Well, they are all even in size. It's invisible because here is white, but let me go quickly to picture tools. And just as any object, I can select a border for them. Let's select a red one so you see what's going on. Okay, I have one picture on the left, one picture on the right. And how could I distribute them equally? I will select all three of them. And by going to picture tools, I can, for example, work with the align panel. The align panel can be used to every single object in PowerPoint, to text boxes, to normal shapes, to pictures. It doesn't really matter because these are simple objects. I will hit align and distribute them horizontally. All right. Now I have equal spaces between them. But on the third photo, I don't like the sky. I would like only the trees to be visible. So I can select this photograph, go to picture tools, and on the picture tool, something very important that is often used, we have the crop tool. By clicking on the crop tool, I can work with the photo without changing the layout of the photograph. So let me extend this photo since it was big anyway, by holding the shift key to remain on the same proportions. And now I can select only the trees. All right. I click once again on the crop to apply it. And we have applied a crop, we changed the layout of the photograph. Next important thing, you can change the object by going here and clicking crop to shape. I can, for example, select a shape like that. And I have something interesting done with this photograph. If you want to take a shortcut and not mess around, if you have many photos, one is big, one is small, and you don't have time to adjust everything. The photographs look like that. You can select all of the photographs, go once again to the picture tools here in the format tab and select picture layout. Those layouts are basically not so useful and they don't look as professional, but they are great to make all the pictures we have selected of equal size and then let us work from there. Let's for example, select a layout like that. I have now a smart art created because the smart art is annoying. And if I resize this, the other ones will be smaller. What you can always do, you can right click on a smart art, go to group, ungroup. And right now we have those images separated as equal objects. Let me ungroup it once again and I'm ready. I delete the boxes because I don't need them. And in a few mouse clicks by making a smart art out of it and ungrouping them, I have equal images now. I could select them, go to the format tab on the left side, go to edit shape, change shape. Let's maybe make a circle and I have equal circle pictures in my presentation which could be instantly used to present my work portfolio or anything. As you see, this picture has reset. So you can go always to crop, change anything you need, crop again, and you're ready with the photos. Remember this little trick and see you in the next lesson.